Good morning. Today I'll talk about Johansen cointegration test in R Studio. There are three steps which we have to follow in order to apply Johansen cointegration test. Step number first talks about all the variables must be integrated at same order. Step number two talks about optimal lag selection and after that we can apply Johansson cointegration test. I have data set of money supply, interest and WPI. All these variables are integrated at first order. It means we can apply Johansson cointegration test in this example. In order to apply Johansson cointegration test, we must have package T series, Urka, and then we have to load it in library with the help of this R studio. So I have already discussed about step number first in unit root testing and step number two about optimal lag selection. So directly I apply Johansson cointegration test in this example. So the command for Johansson cointegration test is ca dot J O and then we have to write here data dot frame and number of variables E C D E T equal to constant type equal to trace and K equal to two. Here K equal to two is nothing but our optimal lag selection, which is two. So simply I copy the command and put here this. So now trace statistic of jo, uh, Johansson cointegration is stored in this M enter. So now it has been stored here in M. After doing that, simply I write here summary m and then enter well this is the outcome of trace a statistic of johansen cointegration so trace a statistic well here we have to observe one thing the number of variables minus 1 will be co-integrating equation. So here we are having three variables. So three minus one will be two in co-integrating equation. That's why r equal to two, r equal to one and finally r equal to o. So our null hypothesis is no co-integration among variables. That's why it is mentioned R equal to zero. This test is nothing but our trace statistic test and this 10%, 5% and 1% are nothing but critical value of the test. So the guideline is if test value is greater than critical value at 5%, it means null hypothesis is rejected. So now, in this example, 65.93 is higher than 34.91. And we can see that null hypothesis is rejected. What is our null hypothesis? 
Our null hypothesis is no cointegration among variables. So if it will be rejected, it means we can say that there is co-integrating or there is co-integration among these three variables. After going through this, another statistic is eigenvalue statistic. Basically, Johansen co-integration test can be observed with the help of trash statistic and eigen statistic. So simply I write here the command and I'm going to save the value in n now in n and simply I am going to change the trash statistic to eigen statistic and uh, the command rest of the command will be same and then enter now the eigen statistic value has been saved in n figure so after writing that simply i write summary n enter well now eigen statistic value has been presented here with the help of this outcome so the test type is maximum maximal eigen value statistic and uh, all the things will be tested with the help of this so our null hypothesis is r equal to o it means we can say that no cointegration among variables again this test is nothing but eigen test statistic and this 10% 5% and 1% are critical value or you can say these are at various significant value so the guidelines is if this test statistic is greater than this value it means our null hypothesis will be rejected hence we can say that even with the help of maximal eigen value we can say that our null hypothesis is rejected because 31.32 is greater than 22.0 hence we can say that there is co-integration among these three variables so that is all about Johansson co-integration test in R studio with the help of trace statistic and eigen statistic thank you very much